Hello everyone! Before I begin, I would like to thank you for incredible support and all your warmest wishes for me to get well soon. I am successfully recovering after the hysterectomy, but it goes so slowly, slowly, and I'm still getting tired very quick. But November is ending, days are short and grey here, we need more candles in our life, and I am about making an advent centerpiece, and maybe you will also get some inspiration out of it. Usually we are having a traditional advent wreath with four solid candles on it, but our old wreath got tired over the years to survive one more operation, and I thought I don't want to pay 70 euros or more for the new one, and also I had no power for shopping around. So I just went through the things at home. I had lots of fun and I saved a bunch of money. I decided to use the tray for my project and I had this summery tray for years. So I decided to give it a fresh paint coat. I found that the black would go lovely with our chairs. I ended up with three coats of paint in total for cover it completely and kept it a couple of days on the balcony because of smell. I wanted that each candle has a separate holder and so on Pinterest they beautifully arranged into an each terracotta pots. But I wasn't keen on buying any pots and replaced them with the soup bowls. What I'm planning to do is to twist the straw ring around each bowl. My bowls have a deep rim, so I attached several double-sided tape spots for keep the straw in place. I did spend some extra on the floral foam, grass straws and the pine branch. and it holds better together when slightly twisted. I led you to have a glance at our little town preparing for the Christmas. Nope, no snow in Luxembourg so far, but we got the gingerbread houses and the polar beers. I am also adding a five-pointed origami star to each pot. I found and will link really good tutorials in the description from Homemade Gifts Made Easy for both the Pentagon and the star, but I warn you, it's very addictive. My two cents to the star folding tutorial. Then you get this obese star and you have to fold the final folds to make it slimmer and nice. 
So fold in first place two edges and then unfold them both and then begin from the second one, the final folding. It will make sense in the end because the last one fold is a bit complicated and then you folded it before it goes much more easier. I hope it makes sense. I think also such a star can be a lovely personal touch to a present and also easy made Christmas decor. My balls have an even bottom and I didn't want it to sculpt the form, so I thought I would give more stability to the construction if I add some legs. For the green area I have chosen some silver pine, so the branches I'm taking slantwise so that one branch would be covering another one. I have chosen this silvery pine or how do you call it, the thing what looks alive even if it's completely dead, but I think also eucalyptus would be uh, really nice here or just a moss. I think the final investment is under 15 euros which is great. How about you? Are you more into buying seasonal decor or into a DIY therapy? Please share it in the comments. So here is how it turned out. And yes, that loose straw grins my gears too. But I promise you will see me removing it very soon. And of course I'm adding water to keep the branch is alive and also because of the fire hazard. I'm quite satisfied with the final result as it looks really cozy on the dining table and also on the bookshelf. There's one thing I would probably change. Maybe longer candles would look more proportional here, but on the other hand they are getting shorter than burning anyway. So here is pretty much it. If you are celebrating, happy first advent to you and your families. I hope you spent few relaxed minutes with me and my video. Thanks for watching, greetings from Luxembourg and see you in the next one. Eddie.